Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Strathmore Toned Tan Sketchbook, um, the 400 series. I'm not sure how big this is. Oh, it's 5.5 inches by 8.5 inches. Um, yeah, so it's the smallest one they offer, I believe. And it's really nice. I really, I really like the size just because it's easy to fill up a page, I guess. Like, I'll show you one of the pages I have in here. I'm only going to show one page just because I want to be able to do a full sketchbook tour at some point. So I don't want to show too much yet. But um, I just like that I can fill up a page. Um, I got a tutorial like a, I found a tutorial on Instagram on how to draw these flowers and that was the first one I drew and so then I just filled up this page with these flowers and I really like this one um they all like have this like highlight here like this like ring of highlight to make them look 3d and honestly the camera does not pick it up very well but in real life it looks pretty cool but um yeah, so this is what also what like white jelly roll looks like on it, and this is just Prismacolor pencils. Um, tone tan paper, I feel like, is just really good because it already is a tone, so you don't have to add as many tones to your paper. So if you use white paper, you already have your white tone there, whereas with this, your uh, background is this like light kind of color this light brown type color and so like you can add a lot more to it like you can add highlights to it and I just think that's really cool I really really enjoy this uh, uh, sketchbook and honestly I this is like the only Strathmore sketchbook I've ever had honestly I would totally 100% recommend any of the Strathmore things just because I've seen so many videos about all of them and it's just it's a really popular brand and for a good reason because um, it's it's really nice and it this is 50 sheets and I think it was around six dollars at Michaels I think you can get them at Hobby Lobby I'm not sure I know you can get them on Amazon as well and I'm sure there's um, other places you can get them too but yeah, I know this is a pretty quick video, but there really isn't much to say other than the fact that this is, like, really cool. Like, the sketchbook is really cool, and I 100% recommend it. Like, if you, uh, say you're beginning and you have a little budget for yourself, and say you already have, like, Prismacolor pencils and a white gel pen. I 100% recommend just getting a toned tan sketchbook instead of getting a normal white papered sketchbook. Um, yeah, and another thing is um, you can use markers on toned tan. Like, I've seen a lot of people use Copic markers on toned tan, but I don't know. Like, I have Ohuhu markers, and I just really don't want to use markers on this paper. I feel like it's just a very colored pencil type paper, even though I'm pretty sure you can use almost anything on it. But, um, yeah, like pencils are probably the easiest thing. And I've noticed that after you color on it, this top corner starts to flip up. But after you've had the book closed long enough, those will flatten out. Um, it's just, it's really nice though. I love this paper so much. I 100% recommend it. 10 out of 10. I'm definitely going to get bigger... Um, sketchbooks of this paper after I'm better at this stuff because right now I just like practicing these little things because this is like the first stuff the first these are the first things I've done with Prismacolors with my pencils that I just got and I will also be reviewing those as well by the way and I don't know I just I like to just do these little things to practice so that I don't do like a big thing that fills up an entire page and it ends up turning out badly and then I just wasted a whole page and all of my pencils, which is kind of stupid because as long as you're creating art, 
that's all that matters. But still. Um, yeah, and these, by the way, don't have like the tear out strip along the edge like the Canson multimedia or mixed media um, papers. And it's spiral bound. So if you have a left, if you're left handed, you might just want to um, like draw in it upside down and backwards, I guess, instead of like. I don't know because I feel like it would be really hard to draw over the spiral um, yeah it's really amazing though like spiral bound I'm sure you could tear these pages out but it just I don't know I personally wouldn't just because I feel like that would kind of ruin the paper and ruin the look of it but I don't know and the camera is making it look more gray than it actually is so it is a warmer tone than the than the video is making it look but, yeah, that's really all I have to say about this. It's really nice, uh, really good quality paper. The pages are thick. Um, and there's, like, here I'll flip the clean page. There's, like, this texture to it, I guess. Like, not texture. Like, it feels smooth to the, to the touch. It takes colored pencils really well, though. But you can see, like, that, like, veining in there. And I really like that. I love that. I think that's so cool and unique and it adds a lot of character and life to your drawings but yeah I think that's that's all I have to say about this if you have any questions ask me down below and make sure to like comment and subscribe thanks for watching bye